I'd like to do an example now where we consider some equations we developed for a spherical refracting surface and try to use them to predict the outcome of where an image would be uh, given an object inside of a refracting medium. Let me go back to the example of a fish uh, underwater. Uh, but let's take an example where the fish is in a spherical fishbowl. So the uh, bottom of the fishbowl might be over here, and the top might be up here, and here I have a little fishy swimming inside. And suppose that the water, which has an index of about 1.3, fills the entire fishbowl. Then this big spherical fishbowl looks like a, a refracting surface as the light leaves and comes out to where we are if we're standing out here in the air where the index of refraction is approximately 1. If we suppose that the fish is about 10 centimeters away from the edge, then if we're standing out here in the air looking back into the fishbowl, the question is, where would we see the fish? So this is exactly an application of the equation we developed a little bit earlier. And let's start with a little bit more information. Let's say that uh, the fish happens to be about 10 centimeters away from the edge of the bowl and that the radius of curvature of this spherical bowl is 30 centimeters. Now, I'd like you to notice that I put a minus sign right there on that radius. And there's a reason for that. We have to go back to developing uh, the idea of the, a boundary. And to one side, uh, we call this the V side. And to one side, we call this the R side. Remember that when, where light is supposed to end up with a refracting surface is called the R side. And where light is coming from is called the V side. In other words, light should not end up there. And if we see an image of uh, this side, it's a so-called virtual image, one where the light rays don't actually converge, but appear to come from as if they had converged. Well, in this case, if the bowl is bulging out like this over to the R side, that means the center of curvature is over here on the V side. And if the center of curvature is on the V side, then this radius R should have a minus sign. That's how we develop this sign convention. When centers of curvature are over here, then R has a minus sign. And then we need to use our expression n1 over p plus n2 over i is equal to n2 minus n1 over R. And we need to remember that n1, where the light is coming from, the index is 1.3. And for air, N2 is approximately 1. And I would like to know the image location. That's the thing that's unknown in this problem. I know everything in my previous expression. I know N, I know P, I know N, I know R. The only thing left is I don't know the image distance uh, right there. And so now I take this term and subtract it off both sides. And now it's uh, over here with R. And I have N2 over I all by itself. If I start plugging in some numbers, I have for n1, n my, oh, 1.3 over p. p is a positive number because p is always a positive number. That's 10 centimeters. But there's a minus sign in front because there was a minus sign in front of this expression up here. Then I add n2 minus n1. So I've taken n2, oops, n1 minus n2. Uh, it's really uh, 1.0 over uh, minus 1.3. But r is negative. So I just put the minus sign up here in the numerator. So it's 1.3 to minus 1.0 divided by a positive 30 centimeters. That has to equal n2 over i. Well, n2 is 1, and i is the last unknown thing. If I just plug these numbers into my calculator, this is minus one, uh, 0 0.13 inverse centimeters. The second number is 0.3 over 30, so that becomes 0.01 inverse centimeters, and it's positive. And the sum of those two is minus 0.12 inverse centimeters. And that equals 1.0 over i. So I would like to know what i is. i works out to be minus 0.85 centimeters. So what does that mean? That means that the image over here is on the left side of this boundary. It's on the v side. Remember, whenever i is negative, it means that the image is on the V side. If, R had come out, if I had come out positive, the image would have been over here. The light would have converged. But this is, a, turns out, because it's a minus sign, I know that it's a virtual image. The light rays don't ever actually converge here on the V side. 
what must be happening is that the light diverges outwards as a result of the process of refraction and diverges out down here. So if I was any observer out in this area, I would see light rays diverging out more rapidly than they should, and I would falsely, with my mind, extrapolate them back toward a common origin, which I've drawn uh, in a cartoon here. My cartoon isn't exactly to scale because the fish was at minus 10 centimeters, and in reality, uh, and the image is at minus 8.5, so it should be like 85% of the way over toward the fish. So the fish looks like it's a little bit shallower in the water than uh, is actually the case. In other words, if I'm standing out here and I could, uh, with my imagination, reach inside to this uh, fishbowl, I would falsely think I would be reaching toward a location a little bit too close to the edge of the fishbowl compared to where the fish actually is. Now I invite you to think about what would be the ca happen if the fish was somewhere other than um, at minus 10 centimeter, or at 10 centimeters uh, for image distance, or obviously object distance. What if it was at a location like 30 centimeters from the edge of the water, in other words, right at the center of the fishbowl? And I'll let you solve that problem on your own.